Hey guys, it's Debbie 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 C. And I'm cleaning some shrimp here. Because I'm going to make some shrimp. Temper shrimp. Oops, sorry, Debbie. And you just take this little knife and go down the back of it. Get out the nasty meat. Then you start at the top. And go all the way down. And get that nasty poop out of there because that's all it is is shit. <laughs> See it come out? It was nasty shit. See that? <laughs> but um, as soon as I finish these guys, I'm going to come back and show y'all how to make temper shrimp. Hope y'all enjoy it. If you like it, like it. Subscribe. Share it out on your social medias. And comment so we know you're here. Thank you, guys. I'll be back. Yay! Shake that booty. Shake that booty. <laughs> no, for real, for real. Okay, now we're going to let this set. And I'm gonna get my flour ready. And that's what I'm gonna use, flour, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator, let it cool, um, stay in there until I get my flour ready. Okay guys, I got it. It's been soaking. I've washed my hands. Even though some people say I don't wash my hands, I wash my hands. I'm gonna drop them in here. Salt and pepper. Not much salt, Darwin. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it till it's all well coated. All right, guys. Everything is all mixed up. So, we're going to start drop, I got it set at 3, like 335, I mean, yeah, like 335. You want to drop one in at a time, okay? If you drop a couple in at one time, then they're going to be stuck together. And once I drop them in the grease, you can start adding more, like right now, okay? Just make sure that you add one at a time. Might want to like fell apart. Come out a couple more, and that's it. Good cooking, darling. And y'all know I love my uh, pans with it. Um, Real drains all the grease off really well. Just give them a little shake up and down. Mm. 
I hope y'all like this. If y'all do, make sure y'all like, subscribe, share it out on all your social media, and comment. Let us know that you're here. Talk to us so we can be part of the family. Look at there, guys. We got some golden brown shrimp coming up. Look at there. They look good or what? Yes, I smell them. Make sure you have all that grease off that you could possibly get off. For example, oh, one of my dogs just got lucky. No cane. Now I'm gonna put some more in there. Like I said, one at a time. Some people do drop them in several at a time, but I've seen them come out stick together and I don't want them sticking together. So all right, now we can drop them down in the grease and add some more, one at a time. Oh, y'all see that grease pop on me? Okay, that'll be it that I'm gonna add now. There's plenty of room in there. It's a big fryer. Sorry, I can't stand a mess. Be kind of interested to watch the um, shrimp cook. I just wanted to show y'all two batches and then I'm gonna call it a video and I will show y'all after I place the plating what it looks like. A little shake because it don't take long for shrimp guys Like I said, I'm making baked potato and green beans with, um, what is it called, uh, fat back in it, and salt and pepper and onions. Okay, guys. Never want to overcook them or undercook them, but if you overcook them, they're going to be really rubbery. You see how they're golden brown? And I'm gonna 
gonna put the last bit in here that we have going on. Oops, I dropped two, y'all seen that? Okay, we're gonna drop them. Did I cut somebody's fingers off behind me? back with the finished plate. Let me clean up this mess. Remember to like, subscribe, share it out on all your social media, and comment. Let us know you're here. Be part of our family. So how far, so far, how does it look? Looks pretty good? Good job, Debbie. Pat on the back. Share it out on all your social media and comment. Let us know you're here. Be part of our family. Thanks, guys. It's Debbie, Debbie, Debbie C. Holla if anybody's out there. <laughs> Love you guys.